Well, Cam, you ready for a special episode? Yes. A very special episode. Mmm, very. Let's roll. Well, like normal, whenever we start to film something, we are starving, okay? We're real hungry. Ravenous. Ravenous wolves. And we're gonna go hunt ourselves a food truck. Food truck? That's right. Have you ever heard of Where's Aldo? No. Do you know where he is? Waldo? Aldo. I don't know where Waldo or Aldo is. Well, we're gonna find him, cause he's got some delicious tacos on his menu and I want them in my belly. All right. Let's get him. Let's get it. This is beautiful scenery. <laughs> I got my drinks, all three of them. <laughs> Giant bag of food. This is how I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> we found him. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. All about right. This. So as you guys saw, oh, did we we didn't get a single clip of the menu. I took pictures. You did? Yeah. All right. I didn't well, film you, it, but I took pictures. Sir, are our guide. He was speaking like Spanish to these guys. Just for a minute. I felt like the outsider. It was fine. Oh boy. I'm fine. I like being left out of things. It was cool. <laughs> hey, you know, you could learn Spanish too. I'm trying. Okay, <laughs> I'm watching Dora the Explorer with my daughter. I mean, I know grande y pequeño. So we got ourselves a bunch of street tacos. Okay. All the different meats. Okay. We got ourselves quesadilla. Okay. Couple, I think. And then the one I'm most excited about, quesadilla. And that is? That is, it's a slow cooked meat, just melt in your mouth, beef put inside of a corn tortilla and wrapped like a quesadilla and then you dip it in the, in the juice and it's amazing. Doesn't it mean cheese donkey? No. <laughs> oh. That's a burro. <laughs> ah, I'm getting there. Cheese donkey. Oh, this is gonna be great. All right, let's go. Let's dive in. Round one. Huzzah. Haritos. Although this isn't theirs, but he gave them to us and I got this really awesome luchador choke hold about. <laughs> got this guy. I just said you have nothing but taste. <laughs> Cheers. To a delicious meal. Provecho. What does that mean? It means when provecho, it's like. In English, please. I'll be honest, I'm not sure what it means in English. All right. It's one of those words I learned and used in Spanish. <laughs> okay, well, here we are. Chips to start us off. And I'm very excited. I love chips. It's always the standard. Dude, chips are so good. Oh, those are some good looking chips. Okay, 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 okay. You gonna pico it? I'll, I'll pico, pico with it. you. I've never been a fan of pico. It's just, it's just onions and tomato. It's not even a salsa. I can figure out to turn on the blender. What? Dude, pico was one of my favorites. It's so good. It's so refreshing and light and delicious. And that is incredible pico. All right. That's yummy. Guacamole? That's good. That's like authentic. All right. Guacamole. Oh, why is guac so good? Okay, now the mango. Dude, that is way good. Ooh, that is looking fine. Not bad. Wow. Favorite's definitely the guac. Wow, it's pretty that good is, mango. are you kidding me? Oh, okay. good. This is way good. This is probably my favorite. Really? That's good, okay. Mm -hmm. Delightful chips, can't go wrong. So fun fact, I was talking to Aldo's wife and they met when she was on vacation in Cancun. What? He, he was her server. What? And they like, it was like love at first sight. They started texting each other Ooh. long distance. And then they got married. They've been married for 12 years. Getting all hot and bothered over right? here. Could you and imagine he, the like romance? Right, just long distance. Oh, She's yeah, all dude. chilling out on the beach in her hot bikini. And, and all those like, little servants. Try some guacamole. <laughs> 
mean, I don't hey, know. He got I, her. I don't know if that's what he would say, but sure. All right. Ladies love guacamole. <laughs> round two, two. I'm excited about this round. Oh boy. Gosh, show him. Show him that meat. <laughs> You got the carne asada. Okay, there right. she is. Okay, you got the chicken. Chicken right here. Good old chicken. Okay, you got the carnitas, the al pastor. And then the perilla. The perilla. This guy. Ooh, the al pastor's guy. Is that pineapple in there? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Bro, I'm excited. And you got these little cute lines. Now, I'm still blown away that this is only the second time they have Oh out. yeah, yeah, get this. Guys, I don't know if this second, made it into the cut. Second. This was their second time out. Yep, ever. as a food truck. Like, they Just only started. had one run before this, and then we show up, they're like, is this normal? Yep. <laughs> no, no, it's not. We're, we're the like, crazies. Everyone had been pushing him to like start a restaurant because he makes this food for his family, and they all love it, and they finally got him to do it. He quit his job. He's gone full food truck. I mean, can you blame him? Dude, I'm excited. <laughs> all right, you ready? Carne asada. Let's I'm go. ready. See, I'm gonna try it naked. Naked? And then I'm gonna put my sauce on it. What? The sauce. I'm gonna put sauce, green sauce <laughs> on it! Okay, I'm just gonna eat. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Oh, glory. <laughs> there is a flavor there. What mm -hmm. is that flavor? I found it. I know what it is. You know what it tastes like? Buffalo crisp. <laughs> I have no, I'm just kidding. What? I'm a doctor! I feel, I know where you're going, but now I can't grasp it. There's a pus sticker. Gyoza. Yes, yeah, pus yeah, yeah. Gyoza. Yeah, yeah. It it's got gyoza. a crazy it does. pus sticker vibe to it. I got that. I feel, I taste it. It's almost like a combo between a- Oh my gosh, that's so good. A little gyoza and a little bit of a street taco. That's good. It sounds crazy, but it works. Wow. Okay, which one are we doing next? Let's do the al pastor. Is that this guy? Yeah. All right, are you going naked again? I gotta take it naked. <laughs> and then please, push, please be more careful with put your Put the sauce up. on it. I mean. A little bit more selective with leave your it words. I'll leave it up to the imagination, you know? All right, I like that. Okay, here we go. Al pastor, which always makes me think of the pastor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but that's just what it makes me think of. Cheers. Yummy. It's got a different. It's got a. There's a seasoning in there. Mm -hmm. You I don't know, what? know what it is. It tastes like a a very light Greek, almost like is it? Almost soup cinnamony. Oh, I can taste, you taste that. that. I can taste that now that you say it. Yeah. It's funny that you say it has a Greek kind of taste because it is based on the lamb shawarma brought by the Lebanese. That's what I was trying to say. Was the shawarma vibe? It's it got is. a very light shawarma vibe. Murray. I like that they put them in the same order in each one. Yeah, it makes it easy, right? Beautiful. All right, this guy? This guy, big old chicken. That's some chicken, good looking chicken. Chicken, chicken. Yummy. Mm. I gotta give this guy some props because I am not a fan of corn tortillas. Are mm -hmm. these corn? Yeah. These are by far the best corn tortillas I've ever had because Normally, corn tortillas give me a weird taste in my mouth, and I just don't like them. Weird texture, but these are good. Actually, I'm gonna go a little bit of the mango. That's good chicken. Try the mango. That, okay, okay, okay. That, Twist my arm. That complements it really nicely. Yep, there's the combo. Found it. Chicken mango, chango, chango and chain. Ha <laughs> ha. Mm. Yep. <laughs> you heard that off camera. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, next on the list. Dude, that green sauce is way good. Yeah, it's way good, huh? Which one next? We're going with the carnitas. All right. Okay, I already like this one because it's got the pineapple on it. Oh, yeah. That looks so good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You rolling papers over there? What if whenever you eat tacos, you just like roll it up. Oh no, I lost the pineapple. The green sauce doesn't work well with that. See, I tried that without first always. Mm. I don't know if this one needs sauce. That is incredible. That's good stuff. What about with mango? More sweet. Wow, that is so good. Mango pineapple. Without a doubt, this one is my favorite so far. It's oh, no. really sweet. It's really tender. It's really juicy. It is really good and I do not want to give the remainder of this to my wife <laughs> and she is looking at me like I will sleep on the couch if I don't I just want do to it. it it's worth it <laughs> 
How was it with the mango? It was good. I prefer savory. It's good. It's really good. I just prefer savory tacos. I don't like sweet as much, but that Man, is Man, that, that is, is really so good. good. Time for the barilla. You know, I would be surprised if oh. that taco wasn't the taco that made her fall in love with him. Right? That's a good taco. He knew. Dude, when you, if you go, I think like if I return to Aldo's, which I definitely would, I'm just gonna order this. This is a great little- Just be like, give me one sandwich. of every taco. It's fantastic. All right, the birria. Cheers, me amigos. Oh boy. Oh, shoot. I told you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What is that flavor? It's like a Mexican pot roast. That is exactly correct. You pass go. It's so good. I collect like $200. $200. <laughs> yes. Wow, it's like a really savory pot roast made into a street taco. Mm -hmm. It is really savory. It is really moist. It is really good. Obviously they use different spices, but my gosh, that's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, next thing. I'm sad. Sad that I have to move on. Really? I mean, I'm happy, but I'm sad. Round three. Oh, queso lover. Ooh. Who doesn't do love get, queso? Do I get my own? Are we sp we're split. No, we're splitting. I love queso. You need not to worry about having only one because they come in big sizes. What? They hooked us up. Wow. Oh, dang. It's like a legit quesadilla. Yeah. It is just Real queso life. inside a tortilla. Cheese lovers. That is all it is. I love cheese. This would be something my daughter would love. Look at all that cheese. Why is cheese so good? Yummy, yummy. Now I am a little bit sad because they mentioned that they have normally queso dip and they mm -hmm. were all out of the dip. I don't know if that's what this was for. Or chips. Or chips, I mean, probably more for the chips. I'll dip a quesadilla in queso, I'm not Why afraid. Why not? Why not cheese on cheese? <laughs> that's so nice and cheesy. Wow. What kind of cheese is it? It's crazy because it's not like the ooey gooey cheese that like stretches for mm -hmm. miles. It's really soft and really pleasant and light. Easy to chew through. Yeah. It's less messy. Wow, that is crazy. It's authentic, that's what it is. I'm gonna dip it in something. Give me something to dip Ooh, it in. the green sauce. Now it almost tastes like a pizza. Weird. How did that change to I a don't pizza? Know. This became Italian. <laughs> What the freak? I taste mozzarella. What the heck? I taste red sauce. What just happened? That makes no sense. What's in this? <laughs> it's transformative power. That is the weirdest thing I've ever experienced in my life. What the heck? <laughs> I mean, it's really good. Yeah. Like way does, good, but I'm so confused. Who doesn't love pizza? Weird. That's yeah, crazy. You guys probably think we're like insane, but it legit tastes like it's so good. Pizza. Like this turns it somehow into red sauce. I'll get it. But it's green. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Okay. I'm a fan. Are you eating all that? <laughs> I'm just I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Round. Four. Oh, gringa. The gringa. Now the gringa is Aldo's, Aldo's personal favorite. Personal favorite. He said, said he would, go you ahead. say it. I was no. you say it. Was, you say it, sir. He said he he would eat it every day if he could, and when he lived, was in Mexico, he did. <laughs> the gringa. And why gringa. Did he, why did he name it the gringa? Because it's a white girl. <laughs> He had the opportunity to totally make it romantic and be like, I named it after my wife. I know, right? <laughs> and he's, he's like, like uh, the flour tortilla. This is it's like white. A, an American girl. It's white. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. And so, full of beans. Isn't it beans and meat too? I have no idea, dude. Here we are. Oh boy. It's like a quesadilla, but full of delicious. It looks incredible. I see meats in there. Yeah, it looks like carne asada. Wow. Oh dang. I am Aldo. <laughs> I just became Aldo. Holy crap. Tortilla cheese and meat. What kind of meat is that? That's not carne. That's the carnitas. That is really good. Dang, Aldo, you've done it again. Let's see what happens. Put the grain, the transforming sauce on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's pepperoni pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how is it? It didn't transform it the same way. No? Probably because the carnitas, you know, keep it Mexican. Man, that is good. It's good though. It's gonna be harder to put down as fast as the last one though. Wow. This one's definitely heavier, but it's so good. Dude, that is way good. It's places like this that surprise me on how Taco Bell is so freaking popular. 
right? Like you got this kind of food available. I mean, I don't know if there's something similar to all those near you, but. There's always something. Like how could you ever pick Taco Bell over this? Yep. That is crazy to me. Oh my gosh, that is so good. And now, the pizza is on. Round five. That's right, the queso maria. Round Dip cinco. in red sauce. Got it. I they like, gave us instructions. They did. They provided us with detailed instructions. Oh, yeah. I always appreciate that on food that we don't know what the heck we're eating. That's very nice. Thank you. Now this. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, look so at good. That, look at that. This is supposed to be like the broth or the marinade or whatever that the meat is cooked in. That? Yes. Okay. So then they put it in the to corn tortilla, they crisp it up, mm. and then you dip it in here to eat it. Okay. I dip, you dip, we dip. Put your, Without don't my hands you on your dare hips. Put I'm not your touching hands on my hips. <laughs> Get it! Nah. I gotta say, I do like the gringa more. Okay, okay. Because this is tasty, but I just loved the flavor. My voice just changed for a minute. <laughs> Who are you? It is growing on me, but I gotta be honest, I think I'm right there with Aldo. I think I could enjoy gringa every day. But this is good, I don't know. It's just, a, it's a new thing. Woo, fine, yeah. a little messy. All right, for the last and final round, we've got fried ice cream. That's right. Ooh. Round six. six. So here's the thing, obviously fried ice cream has ice cream. So yeah. it, it melted on the way here back to the studio. <laughs> the fried part's not as fried as it was. So you gotta kinda take, you know, go with what we got here. But it's still gonna be good. What's on top? Okay. The concept doesn't make sense to me. How does the ice cream not free? Cause like, they, melt? they roll it in like, well this looks like they roll it in corn. Looks like, uh, looks like corn yeah, flakes. Some corn flakes. But generally you'd like bread it or so roll it in corn flakes and the corn flakes are what get fried. Kind of provides that barrier. So ice it's cream. so it's false advertising. Got it. It's more like fried cornflakes with ice cream. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So why not just fried ice cream? There you go. Okay. Cheers. Oh, problem. <laughs> it's soggy. <laughs> Now because we didn't eat it right away, the crispy fried shell has become a soggy, chewy shell. Yeah. It's a little difficult, but it's really good. If they would have just watched our soggy cereal video, they would know from the get-go. You use Captain Crunch and it'll be great, even soggy. Yep. But flavors are there. It's got a real nice cinnamon taste. I really wish this was fresh for us to enjoy, but the flavor is definitely there. It's very Especially good. Especially you get to the bottom. That's where the, yeah, dude. That's where the cinnamon's hiding. Fried ice cream, how can you go wrong? Aldo's, how can you go wrong? Fantastic! So, if you would like to try Aldo's and you're here local, check out his Facebook page, check out his Instagram, all that stuff. We'll link it all down below in the description. Highly recommend. It's very good. We appreciate you, Aldo. And let us know what you'd like to see us try next. Any food trucks you have in mind that you'd like to see us check out? We're Aldo's ready and willing. Ready. Thanks so much. We love you. And we'll see you next time. Oh. I got lost in the cream. <laughs> Ice cream. Talking about the food! <laughs> Gosh! Pray for my mate. My that is to go away. <laughs> this thing is killing me. <laughs> well, hopefully by the time you see this, it's gone. <laughs> I or else you'll be the doctor. <laughs> I cannot think straight. My wife is begging for food off camera. <laughs>